Kerry, we saw you get muted by Adam Sandler's character when you were singing in <laughs> Click, but we get treated to a lot of musical numbers in um, Blended. How did the role of Nickens um, come about? Wow, uh, I got a call from Adam, and he was like, hey man, we're doing this movie, I want you to play a part in it, let's find out what you're gonna do. And, you know, we didn't have it pretty much figured out. It was one of those things that it started as one way and we made it up as we went along. It was really great, but uh, it really became something much bigger than both of us thought it would be. Uh, I, I spent a lot of time in the music studio, um, just as much as I did filming the, the movie. So. It was a lot of singing, a lot of music, and I was a little nervous, like, oh man, I gotta do this. But I just realized, you know what? I'm not gonna just judge myself, I'm just gonna go for it, and it worked out. It's really, really funny. Because, yeah, you've got a background as an American football player before you got into acting. When did you first realize that you could sing and dance? You know, my wife is a musician, and I'm an artist, so music and art is a big part of our household. I mean, with all our kids, I have five kids, so there's a lot of singing going on, and I sing in the shower. I'm one of those guys that's like, yeah, I, you know, I'm grabbing the soap, and I'm like, ah, uh, <laughs> trying to hit high notes. But, you know, my, my thing is, it's like dancing. Even if you don't know the steps, if you give it your all, people are with you. Same thing with singing. It's, like, it's kind of weird. When you become self-conscious, people go, eh, I don't like it. But as soon as you just sing your heart out, all of a sudden, good things happen. I think people want you to win. And with singing and dancing, that's just the way to do it. You have to go all in. There's no holding back. If you hold back, it's not good. And what about moving your pecs the way that you do? Does that take a lot of practice? Or uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that something that just comes from having just, the muscle? <laughs> you know what, it, 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 no, it took practice. Because what happened is I, I was a teenager and I didn't have any dates. And you get very lonely. Uh, and I, it was way before I met my wife. And you sitting in the mirror like, oh, hey, wait, what, what's that? Oh, well, hey, hey, I can do it one at a time. Ah. And you know what, it's something that I did once. And then people keep saying, you know what, can you do that again? And I do it again. And now it's one of those things where they're like, everywhere I go, they're like, do the thing, do the peck pop, do the peck. I even have an app where it's a peck pop app. If you can go on iTunes, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's become a part of me. And The Wedding Singer and Fifty First Dates are two of the most love romantic comedies. What do you think it is about the partnership of Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler that people just love so much? You know, I, what I think is, is that he does for her what she does for him. It's kind of weird because he is this big, oversized comic personality. She is this sweet, funny, beautiful girl. And they compliment each other. It's a constant compliment. Fifty First Dates was one of the first comedies I ever got emotional over. And I was sitting there like, why am I feeling this? I'm feeling feelings, you know? Um, and that's what they have, because you care. This is a couple that you believe in. You really believe that you, and you want them to be together. Um, and they've done this over the course, this is, a, you know, with Blended, it's the same thing. And uh, I think the audiences feel familiar, they recognize them, and it's a wonderful thing. I like um, in your songs the way you get the word blended or blending into a lot of um, yeah. famous songs. <laughs> Can you give us an, an idea of, of what the term blended actually means though in the context of the movie? Well, uh, blended basically stands for a, a one family that's pretty much, uh, you know, not all together meets another family that's missing a member and you become together and you create a new blended wonderful entity and that's what it's all about and it, it stands for friendship it stands for family and uh it's, it's something that i think is a real new reality in, in the world today um as you have more families that are not all together you know except divorced parents and the whole thing and and people come together and create whole new families. And I think it's a great movie to get people ready for their summer holidays. And um, what did you enjoy about being in South Africa? And were you there with your own family as well? Oh, I, I brought my whole family out. I brought my mother-in-law out. And let me tell you, I knew it was awesome because my kids did not want to leave. When it was time for them, because I had to stay and film some more, they were like, we don't want to go, we love Africa. It's so beautiful and spiritual and wonderful. We went on safaris, we ate wonderful food. It was just, you felt like I am one with nature now. You know what I mean? It feels like you really are at the motherland because everyone, everyone in the world comes from Africa originally. <laughs> so it, it felt like home. Terry Crews, thanks very much. Oh, thank